Hello, Leo, and welcome to your March reading with me, Elizabeth. I hope you're all doing really well. This is going to be a general message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and as always, never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Please use your own highest intuition and guidance. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So all of the decks are listed in the description box below. My beautiful Leos, let's get right into your reading. I'm going to piggyback off of Cancer and we'll pull you a couple of Oracle cards first. So calling in and inviting in the divine with love and with light. And let's invite in the archangels at the four corners of the world and the six elements of earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us for this reading for the Leo Collective. Big, big energies. Today is the full moon in Virgo and the planet Saturn just completed his three year long transit in Aquarius and ingressed into Pisces today. So towards the end of the month, we have the spring equinox, um, autumn equinox, if you're in the Southern hemisphere, and we'll have a new moon in Aries. We'll enter Aries season and the planet Pluto will complete his 15 year long transit from Capricorn into Aquarius. So just a lot of energy. And then the sun completing its long journey, one year journey um, through the whole zodiac and entering into Aries at that zero point. So let's get you some cards, Leo, and see what's going on with you. You finally have uh, Saturn that's not no longer opposing whatever strong placement you have in Leo. So if you're a sun in Leo, you've actually had uh, Saturn and Aquarius opposing your sun. If you're moon, same thing. If you're rising, same thing. So some relief for Leo. Okay, so we have chaos and conflict. Maybe that's what that was, number 33. Um, and I, I love this because it's sort of like um, a deconstruction here uh, where we're seeing like something kind of like coming apart um, here to reveal something else. So 33 is ascended masters that are coming in. So I'm feeling like through some of the change, chaos, conflict, whatever that is, um, this is something that's leaving your energy field. As you can see, like there's something that's being revealed here. So it's leaving your energy field. And I really felt called to tell you about like, if you're a Leo, yeah, you have had Saturn in a um Saturn in Aquarius opposing whatever strong Leo placements you have. So I feel that that's what's leaving, that's what's making its way out and um and it's beautiful cuz it's angelically guided with that number 33 and new life. There you go, number 39. So this has been coming out for a lot of the signs this month. It's um I just did a collective reading this morning for the collective around this new moon and this and the changeover of Saturn and this came out so it's like the hatchling beautiful and this is where you're breathing new life into a new astrological year into these new energies as above with all the planets so below so that is coming directly to you some of you um you could be um, like coming out of a Saturn return, maybe you had a Saturn in Aquarius, um, but the energy of Saturn was strongly felt for Leo and we're getting soulmates at the bottom. I love that. So the penguins do mate for life and maybe you've had, maybe that's where some of the chaos and conflict is, has been, um, the past three years, which is, um, Saturn in Aquarius for three years and the three years prior Saturn was in Capricorn. Three plus three is six. So um, maybe it's been like a, a long cycle around um, relationships that have really been maybe challenging, helping you grow in some way, shape, or form. And I really, really feel that this is what's leaving. So let's look at your tarot and we're gonna um, clarify the tarot with the tarot at the end of the rainbow because it is March. And so that's St. Patrick's Day. And I wanted to invite in the elemental beings to give us some spiritual advice. I've got another great Oracle deck and I'm gonna pull some animal cards, but you've got penguin on your totem right now. So that's beautiful. Um, you may be dealing with some soulmate relationships in a big, big way. And there's like new life um, that's coming into your relationships, your love life. So beautiful. So if you've made it through this Saturn transit or all of these weird transits, you know, even last year, 
um, three plus three is six. And last year was a six year, 2022, the year of the lovers. And we had six planets in retrograde. So there's something about threes and sixes for you. Um, if you've made it through with your um, relationship intact, congratulations. And if you didn't, we'll see if that wants to come up. But either way, you were hatching out of the egg. It's a nod to spring and all of the birds, you know, um, the birds that the mamas are tending to right now or will be, you know, coming out of the egg and hatching and it's a new life. It's a new day. So I think you will be feeling good. All right. So thank you to the angels and thank you to the divine. Please show me Leo for March, 2023. Please show me Leo. Also, uh, Leo, you've had uh, the Mars energy, Mars in Gemini, transiting through your 10th house if you're Leo rising. So that's also, you know, being in the public eye, the public spotlight, even relationships around work and business, family, all of that. So we're getting the Six of Cups. See, there's that Six energy, chaos and conflict, soulmates, and then the Six of Cups. So this is healing around the heart and relationships and forgiveness um, beautiful energy of making peace with the past, even reconciliations, coming together, past life relationships, all of that, okay? At the bottom of the deck, before we go any further, is the Knight of um, Pentacles, which is this full moon in Virgo. Boom, it's right there. So let's see what else we have. The Hermit, wonderful. And I feel that this is where Leo has um, really matured. Over the past three to six years, three to six months even, um, this very quiet energy, there's Virgo coming out again. So this month, I feel like it's it's a beautiful, quiet place of healing, um, knowing thyself. Uh, it feels a bit quieter as we start off the month of March for Leo, really looking for that light from within, getting very grounded. Um, Eight of Cups there. So yeah, this is... Like I was saying, I feel like it's leaving this energy behind, whatever's transpired, um, leaving this energy behind and going off in search of the ninth cup. So I'm feeling like some kind of resolution around um, things from the past uh, and um, Leo really wanting to gain wisdom from all of this uh, and go off in search of that ninth cup. So it's really leaving things behind that no longer serve it, it, that no longer serve your highest destiny. The hermit has the star in the lantern, so it speaks even to the star card um, number nine. So about completions, eight of cups into the next cup would be the ninth cup. So even three, six, and nine. And it was Nikola Tesla who said something about like three, six, and nine holding the keys to the universe. It's it's very very energetic here. And I love the cups energy coming out. Um, oh, sorry. And let's see what else we have. The chariot. Boom. Beautiful. So 2023 being that seven year. So it's like you're graduating from the sixes to the sevens. Um, about success and victory and moving forward. This is letting the past be in the past. But really understanding it. Understanding why these things happened. Forgiveness. I'm even seeing like, because the Eight of Cups can sometimes be when something comes back around. So for some of you, you are revisiting um, some relationships specifically or relationships plural, making peace with them. There could even be a nod to somebody coming back in who you haven't talked to in a while. Um, there's a newfound wisdom, a, a new willing, a willingness to want to heal because Virgo energy is about healing. So I see that being very successful. I see that, you know, being something that is aligned with, with your highest destiny, that is aligned with the path that you're on right now, um, that chariot card. So two kind of um, different energies coming together, two polarities coming together and having like a sense of direction and purpose. And I feel the direction and purpose is A, to gain wisdom to understand these things better and B, to um to heal really to heal and to move forward and again just to um give yourselves the gift of forgiveness and understanding because these feel like soul connections so if there's something that again was like chaotic um, a lot of conflict and you're just like done with it you're like yeah i'm not really thinking about that too much then great this is where you really do move on from it and uh and you move forward you know um, swift moving energy with the chariot. 
Uh, but if it's things where they've been heavy on your heart and you've really been looking for peace, you've really been looking for resolutions, um, because of the number 33, you know, that's Christed energy. A lot of, um, even like Bob Marley, um, I think he, you know, left this earthly plane around thir at, at 33. There's like the 33 club. So it is that kind of Christed energy of wanting that higher understanding and the higher love. Um, so that's beautiful for you, Leo. And there's your card. <laughs> so yes, this is the Leo reading because this really is about progress. That's something that I'm seeing. Leos are like, um, moving forward. Uh, the King of Wands is like my favorite King in the whole deck. So he's like the perfect partner, perfect husband could be the perfect wife. It's not gender specific, but he really, really knows what he wants. He, uh, has a great understanding of a mastery over the element of fire, over the suit of wands, and that's you. You know, the heart centeredness, the passion of the Leo. He's also my shaman. So something tells me that through this time, you've had sort of like a baptism by fire, and that can be very, very hard. Um, because in the King of Wands, we often see the salamander, and the salamander is very shamanic. I I'm coming to you from the high desert in Sedona, um, and it's like a shamanic energy with the salamander where the indigenous tribes, they would say that um, when they were in ceremony and they would, you know, burn the fires, that the salamander would seemingly come out of the fire as if it had been to hell and back. So perhaps for Leos, it's like you can look back three years, six years, nine years, three months, six months, nine months, whatever that looks like, um, you have had an initiation and a baptism by fire. And for many of you, this is around uh, really these soulmate connections, these past life connections. If it's, you know, not so woo-woo, it's going back to family, bloodlines, um, love, like love for sure, love on the brain, love, love, right? So this is beautiful. Um, I love the grounded energy of the hermit. It, it shows me that there were times, Leo, where you really had to face these things by yourself. Um, and you're, you're, you were strong enough to do it with that eight of cups linked into strength. Another one of your cards you faced these things head on. You were strong enough to do it, or this is maybe what you're moving through right now. Whatever um, I feel like around your relationships, you are headed towards a totally new life inside of your connections, inside of your relationships, where you know what you want. Um, you've matured, so I feel there's been like a maturation around how you use your energy with that King of Wands. You know, he's again, been baptized by fire. You've been baptized by fire. So now you're carrying this, you've been initiated and you're carrying this very, very wise energy, a very wise leader. Um, also, I'm feeling sort of like temperance, um, Cancer, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo. So sort of like um, the fire and the water, right? Um, is something that you've had to learn how to really temper yourself inside of these energies where there is chaos and conflict in a lot of the world. I mean, look at the world right now, you know? So it's always like in this kind of flux of turmoil and it's been culminating and culminating, but this is where you're getting to breathe new life into your relationships, into your healing, into your purpose, your determination, what you want to move forward with in your life. This is being a very inspired leader. So I'm, I'm seeing you. And then like, here's these beautiful relationships that you're doing a lot of healing around. There really may be somebody coming back around. Okay. And that we'll see where we go with that. So Knight of Pentacles at the bottom with the sun healing around the heart because that's your energy, Leo. Lots of healing, slow and steady growth. It, it hasn't been quick. This has not been a fast energy. This has been slow and steady growth of you really, really putting in the work. You might be dealing with a Virgo here. Um, and the sun, your energy, and underneath that was the five of cups. And then underneath that was the eight of pentacles. And this is where Leo's really been doing the work, putting in the work and going through it. Like I feel that your heart's really been activated a lot. Um, lots and lots of growth, lots of change, wins and losses. That's something that I'm feeling wins and losses where you've been defeated, where you've had victory and sort of like 
how they're inextricably linked. Um, there's a passage from Paulo Coelho, the Brazilian author. You may want to look it up. I will see if I can find it and I'll put it in the description box. And it says, for those who have never been defeated. So you have known defeat, okay? And it has actually made you a winner. So you're winning, okay? You're winning because you've been doing the work. That's really what I see. Um, a great determination, not giving up, not quitting. So this is your time to hatch out of this egg and, um, and taking a deep breath and maybe even where you've taken a long winter's nap. That's what I'm seeing with the hermit there, taking a long winter's nap and now the egg is hatching. And as I'm saying this, I'm reaching my arms wide up to the sky right now. So I'm doing this too. So stretching, breathing, feel free to do that. All right, so let's just keep going. I wanna clarify these. Let's clarify the tarot right away. And then um, we're gonna pull an animal totem, but you've got the penguins, um, which I love for you because it is about um, mating for life. Whether it's in friendships, romance, family, there's something about for life for the long haul here. Like you're really willing to go the distance and that makes you a force to be reckoned with, right? Okay, so let's see what we have for Leo. Okay, ooh, this really wanted to pop out. So we're just gonna take it as a bonus, the Knight of Wands. So this is like the maturation, Sagittarian, um, from the Knight to the King, right? So that's why I was saying like a mastery um, really, really being in your own element. And I feel that this is where, you know, this new life, new adventure, new passion, wanting to explore new energies, wanting to expand Jupiterian ruled. All right. So thank you, angels. Please show me Leo. Let's clarify Leo for the month of March, 2023. Show me Leo. Let's clarify these. Before I cut the deck, there's the Ace of Swords. <laughs> You're going to love this. Bottom of the deck, the new bottom of the deck is Strength. Yeah, this has not come easy for you. Baptism by Fire, 100. Um, 8-8, eight, eight. so some of you have that Lion's Gate birthday, you know, with the Eight of Cups. We saw the Eight of Pentacles. Um, here's the Strength with the number 8. This is a part of your self-mastery, your soul work. I love that. It's loving all parts of you. It's so beautiful. You're, you're being held right now with some kind of grace. Beautiful. Six of cups with that ace of wands. There is a, a new energy coming in around relationships for Leo. Really, with that knight of wands and the ace of wands, um, I'm feeling like you're ready. You're up for anything. That's something that I'm seeing. Okay. The chaos and conflict coming to an end. Whatever that, you know, meant for you, for some of you, maybe it wasn't such a big deal. For others of you, it may have hit you hard. All those retrogrades last year, even this, um, this Mars moving through Gemini. So you are ready for passion. You're ready for adventure. You're ready to take action. Beautiful. Um, and I feel that you have the relationships to do that, the people to do that with. So it's a nod um, to you sticking it out with these relationships, who's still around, you know, who's around you. It's beautiful. With the hermit, we get the hanged man. And this is where I, I do feel like, Leo, this is the baptism by fire where, you know, you were willing to sacrifice maybe the fun. Maybe you were sacrificing certain things because you were making this inner work sacred. There was some, some wisdom that you really, really wanted to receive. Um, even if, these are, this was a specific soulmate relationship. If, you know, it hasn't been full speed ahead. Maybe it's been a very slow relationship to bloom. You know, the love is there, um, but it's been taking it very slowly, knowing when to pause and take a time out because there's inner work that needs to be done. So it, it is where um, inside of sacrifice, it's where you make something sacred and you're making your own wisdom, your own healing uh, sacred about knowing yourself. And if this is about this other party or these other people, this is where I really feel that there's like a new sense of enlightenment, a new perspective around, um, the heart space of the other, a new mutual understanding. Cause it's, it's, um, being activated 
The love is being activated. The connections are being activated. Forgiveness is being activated. All of that. Um, and this is Piscean here. So Virgo Pisces, this is in real time. So sun in Pisces, full moon in Virgo. This is the Virgo Pisces energy, but it's where it's even the Virgo energy is being spiritualized. It, it's being matured. Um, and here's a very dark moon, right? So that's beautiful um, where the light is really coming from within. So if this is about someone else, I feel like... Um, you know, there was a timeout, maybe right now, maybe you're even feeling like, all right, but we're kind of in a timeout. There's um, not a lot of action. It's coming. It is definitely coming. I feel that there's been enough observation. There's been enough waiting. There's been enough pause. There's been this kind of like beautiful individual space for each of you um, inside of whatever relationships. Uh, and now it's like, the egg is ready to hatch. So it's going to be time to come out. Seven of wands with that eight of cups. And I was saying it's like spiritualizing the challenges, spiritualizing. It's like everything's kind of more spiritually based for you um, because there aren't a lot of pentacles here at all so far. It's fire um, and water, fire and water. That's temperance. So these are the challenges to overcome. And it's kind of like knowing what to leave behind, what is worth fighting for, really learning what's worth the fight. So that's where, like I said, with the eights, we can decide to come back around to it because it's a lesson that hasn't been complete. So that's the lemmiscate. So it may not be like leaving something behind forever. Maybe there's certain energies that you wanna drop, the heaviness. Uh, emotional baggage, you know, that's ready to be released um, during this full moon. The emotional baggage is ready to be released. And baggage can be a harsh word because it's like, you know, it's stuff that we carry with us. And it doesn't mean that it's that it's negative, you know, it's like an emotional clearing um, and also around your fire. So it's like, what's worth the fight? And I think that that's what you're really understanding right now, that there are some things that really are worth fighting for, even if it's been chaotic, even if there's been conflict, bumping of heads. I'm sensing that this other person is as equally passionate as you. They may be maybe more on the emotional side, whether or not they, they're they able to show it. Um, we, we will look into this other person. I did the same thing with cancer. So um, maybe you're more of the fire. They're more of the water. The, I'm hearing the water horse and the fire horse. Interesting. Okay. So the Hierophant coming in with the chariot. Amazing. I just love this so much. It's like knowing the path, knowing that I kept saying spiritualizing the challenges um, and not spiritually bypassing. I mean, it's like alchemy. It's alchemizing it. So there's such a spiritual, beautiful energy in all of this. It's a higher path, the high priest coming in. So it's the merging of the sun and the moon, the two polarities coming through as like a guide. Um, beautiful, really, really beautiful. And the three of pentacles with the king of wands. So maybe for some of you, it's not about love and romance. It's about um, soul agreements, partnerships with other people, I think that you're coming in as just such a strong leader here. You know exactly what you want or you're going to know. Uh, you've got all of this fire here, plus you've got the heart coming in with the cups. And it's about being in flow now. This is the opposite of chaos and conflict, okay? The Hierophant, um, all of the fives represent chaos and conflict. So... Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Chaos and Conflict, Catalyst for Change. So the Hierophant is the trump card inside of all of those fives. And this is where you've made something very spiritual here. You've been initiated, um, you've matured, Hermit, King of Wands, you've totally matured here. And that now it's like, okay, this is where the, the Three of Pentacles, where that chaos and conflict is smoothed out. You can see everybody here. They're like super, super in flow with one another. Going back to the Empress, the threes. So three, 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 boom. You've got eights and threes. So those are um, significant. Those are important, the eights and the threes. And this is beautiful. So I, I see so much positivity for Leo. Um, congratulations, because it could have gone either way. When chaos and conflict is your first card out, 
it can go either way, but this is all about healing. Um, this is about courage and valor with strength coming out at the bottom. It has not been easy for you. Bottom of the deck, strength, three of swords, and the moon. That is not easy. You've done a lot of shadow work. I think that you've really been seeing your subconscious patterns inside of relationships of all kinds um, where you've been betrayed in the past. And I love that even the lion's face has turned purple and she's got that magenta ray or the magenta flame. So there's something about um, alchemy here and transmuting a lot of lower energies and all of the orange inside of the, the lion's mane, it's also the sacral chakra there. So it has been emotional with the moon there. This is um, healing a lot of your own subconscious triggers and patterns. And the things that have been hidden, you brought up to the surface and you looked at them. And, and maybe, you know, this isn't past tense. It's maybe it's all present tense. This is still what you're working on. This is what you're doing. And it's going to pay off. Your hard work is paying off. Um, so courage, valor to get on that higher path inside of your relationships, to work together with other people in a way where you're breathing new life into relationships and to be passionate and inspired, just like a Leo, you know, the adventure, the passion, you know, um, fellow fire sign of Sagittarius. So let's look at the animal totems. And then uh, we're going to clarify the tarot again. So maybe we'll even, yeah, I think we'll look at the relationship for those of you in a connection. All right, so let's get to your animal totem other than the penguin. And I don't know, it's like, I don't know what that is there, but it's like underneath it's a zebra. Um, so it's transmuting, it's becoming, you're becoming something new or your relationships are becoming something new. So let's just cut the deck right there. Oh, that one wants to stay too. So we're getting the coyote spirit, trust in the divine detours. Yeah. So I forget what other sign got this. Um, we were talking about in one reading, uh, Hayoka. And I feel this is very significant to you because some of you are really working with more of a shamanic energy. You're not an easy pill to swallow. You have strong medicine right now. So not everybody's going to love you, Leo. This is not about, you know, if you're still feeling this chaos and conflict just because you're being yourself. So if you're in this very high vibrational King of Wands energy, who's very confident, speaks his truth, is it's fixed fire, is firm in his beliefs because you have something to teach with the Hierophant. You have a mission with the Chariot. You're, you know, it's deeply connected into past lives. So understanding that relationships that come into your life, many of them, you know, they're, they're soul agreements. Okay. And you may be coming in as this very strong medicine, a strong pill to swallow, a red pill in a sense, even for some of you, that violet pill, the magenta pill. Um, it's not everybody can handle it. So that's another thing. Um, that's another thing. So this isn't, you know, just people pleasing. This is really being in your power. You are truly in your own essence, in your own power here. Um, and that, you know, may disrupt other people's energy. Um, so yeah, you can surely focus around how you're delivering these things, but at the same time, you may have this Hayoka energy and you can look up Hayoka shamanism. It's a very specific form of shamanism where, um, oftentimes it, it, they're hard to understand because they speak and teach in riddles and parables. And it can often even be like, not clown-like, but trickster-like. Some of you may have had this trickster-like energy, and this is what you've been integrating because you're actually seeing where, where there was trickster energy or some kind of deception something that you thought was a sure thing, but it wasn't, it didn't work out, or people were trying to even stab you in the back, you know, even going back to last year, um, how that has served you. These detours, they were things that were not meant for you. So it's like uh, letting that go with grace and with respect. There's a lot of respect here. And the coyotes inside of... Um, inside of like tribalism and, and indigenous cultures. And even here in America, I live in the West, um, there's packs of coyotes. They're 
so beautiful. They're, um, you can't get rid of them. They've been hunted for century, maybe even millennia, um, but you can't get rid of them. So they know how to survive. So that's another thing. Actually, you got two more. So I think we'll take this for the soulmate energy because I feel like this coyote is a guide for you in a big, big way. If, um, you know, and I really feel it's Hayoka. So for you and this other person, 59 and 56 starfish spirit open to infinite possibility that's a beautiful water energy um that's also connected to the star in the hermit's lantern uh but this is miracles right it's beautiful so miracles around your relationship and look make your dreams real with the spider spirit um the the energy of destiny so that's important star destiny the the spiders speak to the web of destiny so these are destined relationships. This, if you're thinking about a specific person, it's your destiny here to work it out. Six of cups, you're going to work this out or, you know, even if you had some challenging times, I think that you are breathing new life into your connections of all kinds, but specific person. Yeah, this is about destiny right here. Um, making your dreams real, open to the infinite possibility. This is so beautiful. Leo. So, all right, let's get you um, some messages from the tarot at the end of the rainbow. And at the bottom of the deck, we're getting the turkey spirit about gratitude and grace. And I posted something on my Instagram uh, just a couple of days ago about like being in gratitude, giving thanks for your blessings and watching them multiply. So that's the energy of thankfulness and gratitude is like being thankful for what's there right now counting your blessings and watching them multiply. Um, even a nod to Thanksgiving. So that may be significant to you in America and in Canada. I think they're both in November, right? Um, but depending on where you are in the world, um, do you have like a Thanksgiving? But if not, um, in America, it's like the third Thursday of the month of November. So something around November um, being important. You've got turkey with you, which I love. Um, and I'm just going to put this strength card right here with that Knight of Wands because I feel they're so beautifully paired. I love all of the fire here with you and I love the water too. So, all right, my beautiful Leos. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, let's get some spiritual advice for you. Cause I don't even know. I feel like you're just totally on the right path here. So, um, I do have reversals in this deck. This is the tarot at the end of the rainbow. So let's look a little bit deeper into this. Um, what is the advice, spiritual advice from spirit for Leo right now? Um, you know, let's ask, invite in. Um, I feel that you may have a specific ancestor or um, Native American spirit guide or indigenous spirit guide that comes in and actually like gives you some strong medicine has been there. It's part of that chaos and conflict. So let's move the soulmates over there and put the coyote spirit over there. Whatever detours that you have had, they were divine. So let's get some advice. Yep. Full coming out right away. Beautiful. So Aries season, um, luck is on your side. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here with this leprechaun. And it's like, anything's possible. This is the infinite possibility. Anything is possible for you, Leo. Look at that. In, in all areas of your life, um, if you are embodying this beautiful King of Wands energy, you are an inspired leader. You have um, luck on your side in such a big way right now. Um, with that Aries, you know, sun moving into Aries. Um, we have Jupiter in Aries, we have Venus in Aries, but we also have Chiron in Aries. So it's where we've had to really get into like, you know, our own wounding and patterns and, and ego uh, and really like working on that. And I see that you've really done it. So let's see. So take a leap of faith. There's a new cycle, a brand new cycle for Leo. So that was like a little bonus before I cut the deck three of swords in reverse. Yeah, this time it is over. Okay. 
this time of heartbreak or healing, it's all over. And King of Swords in reverse. So this was Saturn moving from Aquarius into Pisces. So it's like, um, this is getting into the heart. It's not thinking, um, it's not logical. Like, I feel like you're really guided by your heart and your passion and your willpower right now. Beautiful. So, yes, look at that. The King of Wands again. I mean, you can't make that up. So here you are. I mean, it really is about your energy. Um, you know, he's so passionate. He is just the, the most amazing leader, the perfect partner, the perfect boss. Like, he's just so inspired, so beautiful. Look at you with all of this fire, Leo. You are really, really in your element here. Like, you are you. You are really you. And and this did not come easily. So that's another thing. Um, it's about healthy pride. You know, because I feel that your tests and challenges, seven of wands, your tests and challenges have been so great. You've sacrificed so much in your life. You've absolutely um, felt great despair, disappointment, sadness, where the cups were just so broken. Um, because of that, like, there is great pride in yourself, but it's not false pride. It's not hubris. You know, perhaps this was you even as a teenager, like the younger Leo, you know, just like really about the ego or the pride and not in a bad way. It's just been a part of your maturation where like, you know, if, if you were wounded, it was always like around your pride because you have such a big heart. You're I'm seeing like the eternal flame. It's like, you know, when you have a campfire and it's burning all night long and the next morning you go out and there's, it's still smoking and there's still some of the embers that are still really hot. That's you, you know? So, um, when you've been hurt in the past, it's like, or there has been chaos, um, people misjudging you, even not understanding you being misunderstood. It's where it, it does hurt so much because I feel that you've had such pure intentions. Maybe your expression was just a little less mature or something like that, you know? Because um, when a Leo gets hurt, it's like that lion can roar, you know, can just roar. So um, big, big messages for you. So with that seven of wands, yeah, we're getting death in reverse. Yeah, this dark night is over. You have, you've transformed, you've changed. This is that Scorpio energy south node in scorpio right now um and you know the eight of cups is piscean but for me it's more scorpionic um this dark night this transformation is complete um yeah it, it's beautiful i love that because it's really about forget about like the past or the karmic debts and sorry if they're shuffling i have two puppies here so um anyway um yeah so it's about the North Node, focusing on the destiny and releasing, shedding of the old skin, all of that. I really feel you've done that. And look, here's the Eight of Cups in the reverse. You can't make that up. So yeah, this is, that cycle is complete. It is complete. It's, it's time for the new. It's time for the adventure. It's time for the lightness. It's time for the relationships where there's infinite possibility and love and new life death and rebirth, new life. And finally, um, we're getting um, the nine of wands in the reverse. So I really feel that you've worked on all of this wounding. This is my card of Chiron. Look how guarded he is. No one's getting through there, you know, and this is what's reversing for you. So this is where, yes, the people can come in, um, knock on the door and Leo's going to answer. The people can come in. It's time to, to work with the other people and have the relationships and breathe new life into new soul agreements or even old ones. Whatever is still standing, I feel um, is important. And whatever relationships are still there, they are golden. And you are such a strong leader. So they really, really want you to know that. Um, okay, so let's see what else we have for you. Let's pull some final cards. Um, okay. And even around, uh, specific connections, I do feel that, um, 
the guard is coming down. You know, it's where, yes, and for some of you, there are people that are returning. There are relationships that are returning. They're coming back around, and you really need to trust your wisdom and your guidance if you're going to move forward with them and, and breathe new life into them. You'll know. You know, you'll really, really know. So I feel Leo... Um, is much more vulnerable right now in such a positive way because you have this great strength about you. Um, beautiful, beautiful. You, you're really coming out as a shaman here, as a guide, as a teacher, as a leader. Um, all right, so I had the deck upside down. And the cards just want to jump. So I'm not going to take the jumpers. Let me just get grounded here for you, Leo. I did see astral plane that came out. And that's where you're you're really getting your insight from multiple, multiple places right now. It's like your insight is coming from the cosmic energy, from your deepest inner wisdom. It's coming from um, your groundedness and your connection to nature. But absolutely, like your connection to your heart. And something about the astral plane um, is calling you, okay? So let's see what we have for Leo. So we're getting the fifth dimension. Look at that. Look at how passionate this is. You are so full of passion. And this is like your expression, your voice, uh, what you're sharing with the world, your creativity, your inspiration. It says fifth dimension, and it is um, a number five. So coming out of... Um, Chaos, conflict, the hierophant, the inner teacher, um, this has leveled you up. You are ascending. Be gentle and nourish your human form at this time. Exist in a, in a state of love and not fear. And I'm feeling like there's all these other people, like lots of conversations in these three of pentacles this month. There's a lot of different people that you're connecting with. Um, just beautiful. Uh, so this is really about speaking too. You know, you have things to share with other people. I love it. And we're getting the sun. There you go. I think we saw the sun at some point, didn't we? Number 24 with illumination. Get your sunshine, drink your water, get your vitamin C. The sunflower there always turns to face the light, right? So that's you. Turn to face the light and then shine your light upon those who cannot see. So part of that, it is definitely your expression here. You are a powerful king of wands. Shine your light for those who cannot see, shine your light on the world, Leo. You know, that's what you were born to do. You were born to shine. Um, you know, you're the king and the queen of the whole zodiac. You're ruled by the sun. No one else is ruled by the sun. Everybody else is ruled by a planet. You're ruled by the sun. Um, so that's why I was feeling like nobody could put your fire out. Even if situations, you know, you felt like, it was dwindling down to those last embers, you know, um, the next morning after the big campfire, it, it, your flame could not be put out and it's coming back in full force. Springtime is going to be totally amazing for you, right? Um, King of Wands twice there, right? It's going to be an amazing, amazing springtime for Leo. Like you are really in your element, really, really in your power. Amazing. Oh my gosh, Leo, loving your reading, loving it. So um, let's get you one more just because I don't feel like I am done with this yet. Finally, we're getting infinite wisdom and that's a number 19. Um, and this old structure that, you know, these are old memories. This is old wisdom. Um, a lot of it's really past life related because the first tarot card that was out was the six of cups. So it says, you are the source, the sun, you are the source, and you hold all the power you require from within. We, so who is the we? We are giving you the tools to unlock these doors now. So what has been locked? What, if you've been knocking and you were wondering when that door was opening, you're being given the keys, that's the Hierophant. The Hierophant holds the keys to knowledge and wisdom um, from eons and eons it's it's earthly history but it's still connected to the cosmos and to the um stars you know um but it's the high priest so you're being given the keys to these doors that maybe they weren't opening prior they're open now okay the doors are open 
Um, and for some of you with the hanged man, it's even the doors to perception because again, they're saying everything you, you require you have within and that's the hanged man. It's a nod to Odin. So the third eye and everything from within, especially being with that hermit there. Bottom of the deck, I'm telling you, you've done some deep shadow work. Um, optimal self number 38 coming right before that new life. It's almost like the death and the rebirth. It says dense energies must be left behind in order for you to align with higher frequencies. The butterflies, a nod um, to the death card, right? Because look at the butterfly there. So, yep, the death and the rebirth, beautiful. It's, it's such a cohesive message. And that's the other thing. It's like, I feel like there's a lot of clarity around this. Um, but still, if we like look down the center at the heart of the reading is the eight of cups, seven of wands, death and reverse. So you may still be releasing some of these denser energies. How do you want to do that? You choose. Um, for some of you, it's sunshine, it's water, it's lots of hydration, it's fresh fruits and vegetables, it's flower therapy, flower medicine. Um, so how, you know, how do you release these denser energies? It's grounding in nature. For many of you, it's getting out into nature. For some of you, it's connecting to the night sky. You know, for some of you, it's through a specific relationship or activity. Um, you're going to know, you know, the message isn't always the message. It's your reaction to the message. That is the message. Uh, so those were your messages, Leo. I feel like, um, Let's pull a couple of messages for you and your soulmate. I feel that we could do that. And then we'll um, we'll finish up. Let's go back to um, dream vision. And let's just get you a couple messages for you and your soulmate. Thank you, angels. Please show me Leo and their soulmate, whether it's divine counterpart, twin flame, um, if it's a sibling, if it's a best friend, a, um, a business partner. Show me Leo's energy with their counterpart, with the person most on their mind. The combined energy, let's just see what we have. Queen of Swords, could be dealing with a Libra. Seeing that, you know, there's fairness and truth, truth and communication, it's no nonsense. It's like, I love that it's a queen with the king, but you know, she can be very logical. Some say she's the ice queen, she can be cold, but I think she's very fair and diplomatic. It's that seventh house of relationships and partnerships. For, um, if you're Leo rising, um, you've had Saturn in Aquarius in um, figure seventh house. So, you know, it was hitting your partnerships for Leo, Leo rising. And some would even say for Leo, Leo rising, it was hitting partnerships. So let's see what else we have with that. Before I cut the deck, there's the death energy. Yeah, I feel like you've really been through it, you know? And the new bottom of the deck is the four of wands. So that's union, twin flame, marriage, halfway to marriage, celebration, wands energy. Um, it's it's celebratory, it's happy, it's celebrate, it's beautiful. Uh, so we're getting the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. You are headed towards very, very long-term commitment inside of this. Um, it, it's going to come from truth. It's not like necessarily overly emotional. It's passionate. Um, but the other person, that they, they really, they want harmony and balance with you. They're in it for the long haul. I think you're both in it for the long haul here to build something very solid. And the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, King of Pentacles. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I love this very grounded energy of um, like Taurus, Capricorn. So this is like the North Node in Taurus. It's like if you both see the true value in this, you're going to go all the way with it. So it's about committing to it. It's about being fair with one another. I'm trying to see things from each other's perspective because I feel that you are from like a different kind of element, if you will. Um, you know, so trying to see the other's perspective and um, and if, if you both value it, it's gonna go, oh my gosh, it's solid. Aries energy here, like um, the four with the four. Oh, and look at that. So bottom of the deck is um, four of wands, ace of cups and nine of pentacles. You both have to know your own self-worth that's been something that I feel that you both had to really work on. Um, there's something around stability and um, 
be both of you want to be independent you don't want to be codependent the love has come in from the divine it's divine love it's uh, a soulmate for sure and i definitely see it leading to marriage it's long-term stuff there um you're serious they're serious so that's the message okay <laughs> um so yeah if it's been chaotic if there's been conflict whatever um there's new life being brought into your connection with this person everything is golden for you and you know you've learned so much so as new challenges come up you're going to approach them in a new way uh, have faith in yourself leo you've got this i love you so much if there's anything i can do for you please reach out. I'm here. I would love to connect with you. Drop a comment. Please do like, share, subscribe. Um, you know, it really does help me out a lot. I'm like so passionate. I, I have such a new spark around the channel and around the readings and all of it. I just feel very, very inspired. So I want to share all of that with all of you. I love you. I will see you all very soon. If there's anything I can do, reach out, take good care. Drink your water, get your sunshine, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do something nice for your partner too. All right, Leo, I'll see you all soon. Take care. Namaste.